Hi beautiful, this is most likely not what you expected to see when you clicked on the video but just bear with my hair for a second or for the entirety of this video. I am trying some heatless styling and this is the best I could do to be presentable on camera. I'm sorry. Anyways, in today's video we are trying some new products. I have been dying to try the Huda Beauty Easy Blur Foundation. This is said to look like a filter on the skin. And having dry skin, I have my doubts about whether or not this foundation could work for me. But at the same time, I definitely do want to look like I have a filter on. So I cannot wait to try this. We're also trying lavender powder underneath the eyes today. This is new from Tarte. It is the Chrysalis Setting Powder and I got the shade Lavender, which I have been dying to try. And then we're also trying a new liquid blush from Kali Ray Cosmetics. This is their Blurry Blush in the shade Zen. These are the three main products I'm going to be focusing on in today's video, but besides that, we are going to be putting a full face of makeup on. And every single product I'm putting on my face today is a new product that I'm testing out. It just might not be the first time ever that I'm wearing them. So if you're excited for today's video, if you're excited to see if this easy blur foundation can work on your dry skin perhaps, then just keep on watching. If there's anything in this video that piques your interest, anything you want to shop for, I have all of the products linked in the description box of the video and a lot of it is also tagged on the screen. Whenever you shop from my links, you are helping out my channel, so please shop by clicking on the products on the screen or checking the links down in the description box. My skin is already prepped. I did apply my moisturizer eye cream, my brows are done for moisturizer and eye cream. I use Magic Cream and the Magic Eye Rescue from Charlotte Tilbury. These are my absolute favorites. And then the Easy Blur Foundation also has a primer that came out at the same time as this one, but I'm not going to try the primer today. I'm mainly interested in the foundation. I got mine in the shade Custard, which is 220. So if we are shade twins, this might be the shade that works for us. Right here on the side, it says to shake well, and it says it is weightless, comfortable, buildable blur, and that it has 1.5% niacinamide. The foundation retails for $37. It says it has a natural finish, it is cruelty-free, fragrance-free, and it has a medium coverage. It says it is a lightweight, medium to buildable coverage foundation that is non-comedogenic and ultra-blurring for an airbrush finish. 1.5% niacinamide, which is going to smooth and refine the look of uneven texture and tone, and silica, which gives you poor blurring results for a natural airbrushed finish. Huda has created the most lightweight, non-comedogenic, ultra-blurring foundation with a medium to buildable coverage. It's comfortable on the skin, blendable and easy to apply. It's available in a range of shades with a seamless filtered finish. And it is a vegan and cruelty-free product. I might have repeated myself a couple times there, but it's repeated on the Sephora website, so. <laughs> While I was reading, it also did say that the foundation can be applied with a brush or a sponge or your fingers. I'm going to go my favorite route, which is a sponge. And it looks like custard is going to be a perfect shade for me. The sponges I use are the Refer sponges. They're literally my favorite. They don't tend to absorb as much makeup as beauty blenders do. Custard is a perfect shade for me and the coverage of this foundation is beautiful. It did say medium buildable. I guess I applied a bit more than medium because it's covering up everything really nicely so far. And I'll figure out what to do about my hairline once I let my hair down. But for now, I want to keep this in place because my hair looks an absolute mess without it. <laughs> it looks a mess with it. Imagine it without it. <laughs> okay, here's what this blurring foundation looks like on my skin. It looks beautiful. I like that it is a very lightweight foundation. I also love the coverage. My redness was immediately gone from my face. Now, I don't necessarily see a super blurred finish, but I just applied it. Maybe it just needs to dry down. Um, so I'm just going to keep going with the rest of my makeup. For now, though, I do really like what I'm seeing. It's just that this foundation went very viral for being filter-like, and I feel like it looks similar to a lot of other foundations that I also like. <laughs> this Tarte Creaseless Color Corrector in Peach is incredible, you guys. I have been using it non-stop ever since I tried it recently-ish. 
probably around a month, a month and a half ago. It is so freaking good. It immediately gets rid of the darkness on the inner corners of my eyes and the under eyes. And it's paired well with any concealer I've combined it with so far. It's awesome. I love it. I'm going to be using my Westman Atelier concealer I tried in the last video for the first time. It is fantastic. I love the coverage. I love that it, it like doesn't crease. It barely, barely creases. And I have lines that fold under the eyes. Just from like my eye shape, I've always had them. And this concealer barely creased there. I was so impressed. I got it in the shade L4. I'm questioning if I should have gone a little lighter. With this foundation, this color will pair well because it's pretty much the same color as the foundation and so with my sponge i'm just going to blend it in place here's how things are looking now that the foundation and concealer are blended on the skin time to try the lavender powder from tarde first things first i love 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 the packaging of this powder i love mesh sifters on powders it's my favorite type of powder packaging this came with a little puff right here on the top, a really nice little triangular puff. And then once you open it, take a look right here at what things look like. It has a mesh sifter in the center and a generous amount of powder all around. I'm grabbing some lavender powder on my puff and I'm going to get rid of the excess right here on my hand. And then just lightly tap it right underneath my eyes. I feel like we gotta do a side-by-side -side pink versus lavender powder to see what we like best. Here's what that looks like. I'm not going to do that in this video but I'll do it in a short probably and that way we can see a side-by-side -side comparison of lavender versus pink under the eyes. I have been into pink under eye powders for probably over a year now and they work really well for me. By the way, my favorite thing about the mesh sifters, in particular the one that comes in here, is that it's very soft so you can get the puff to go down and actually touch the powder even at the bottom of the container because sometimes mesh sifters don't really bend in that much and um, when that happens then you're not really getting to the powder as easily. Lavender under eye powder here's what it looks like i like it i'm going to set the center of my face with it as well and right on the chin i'm not going to do the sides of my mouth because in case this foundation is too dry for me i don't want to overly dry around my mouth with powder but here's what that lavender powder looks like i don't know how i feel about it if i'm going to be honest with you here's a clean refer number five and i'm just going to get rid of any excess it looks nice, my under eyes do look brighter and they do look very blurred. One thing is for sure and that is that I do like the formula of this Tarte powder um, regardless of the color. The formula is super smoothing, extremely thin, finely milled and it does blur everything really really nicely. There have been quite a few different cream bronzy slash contouring products that have come out this year that have sneaked their way into being my absolute favorite and this one from say beauty is definitely one of them i love it it is so natural looking i used the shade sand and i absolutely love it so let me just blend that out i just love how natural it looks while still bronzing you up and creating those shadows Time to try this Kali Ray Blurry Blush in the shade Zen. Here's what the applicator looks like. And I love peachy shades for blush. So I feel like I'm going to like this one. I'm going to use the same brush that I was using for the bronzer to blend out the blush. This is the BK Beauty 109, which by the way, BK Beauty has a set with their three best-selling brushes available now. That is a fantastic deal. So take a look right there. That blush is beautiful. I love it. It looks very natural. Kind of reminds me of Say Beauty blushes, but maybe a bit less glowy. The foundation, by the way, looks beautiful. I don't know if it looks like I have a filter on or not, but it definitely is very beautiful looking. You could obviously build up this blush, but I kind of tend to prefer this more natural looking 
finish so I'm going to leave it at this and I'm going to put on some mascara ever since I tried the new Charlotte Tilbury Exaggerized Mascara this is all I have been using and I can tell you guys now after using it a few times that it is in fact a beautiful mascara it does make a huge difference on the way my lashes look so let me go ahead and put this one on so here's what the mascara looks like fully applied on my eyes like I said I absolutely love it it gives me thick long lashes that are nice and separated and glamorous looking it's fantastic for the lips I'm going to show you a lip combo that I have been obsessing over for fall it is so beautiful I showed you briefly in the last video but I'm going to like actually apply and show you me applying these today say beauty lip liner in the shade tease which this is what it looks like it's like a brown lip liner that has a bit of warmth to it and then the Westman Atelier lipstick in the shade Pique. This one right here in the center. This lip combo looks insanely beautiful. So let me just go ahead and go for it. Here's that Tease lip liner. And I do like to fill in my lip liners a bit. Let's do the bottom now. So these Say Beauty lip liners have a fantastic formula. I'm obsessed with them, so creamy but also very precise. I didn't even do it with a super sharp tip today. So here's the lip liner fully applied. And then PK in the center, which also smells delicious. Take a look, is that not amazing? I have been loving, loving, loving this lip combo. So good. <laughs> okay, so this is the makeup freshly applied. I am going to do a wear test. It's 3.03 right now. Let's say I did my foundation around 2.30ish um, and then we'll go till 10.30, 11pm tonight to do an 8 hour wear test. Of course I'll show you in a second what this looks like outside in natural lighting and we'll see what the hair looks like. I'm scared. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I think the hair thing kind of worked. It does look a bit more voluminous but it also is kind of falling already anyways um i came outside to show you what things look like in natural lighting do i look like i have a filter on i kind of do i kind of do <laughs> this looks pretty awesome let's get really close this is my problem area right here and it looks really good i wanted to be a hater but i'm loving i'm actually really loving right now so it's also been like two hours already by the way i'll show you what it looks like later on i'm about to go to the mall i have some sephora exchanges to do but i'm loving the way my makeup looks today 9 16 and i just put miss evelyn down to sleep so i'm going to speak a little lower um here's what the makeup is looking like six and a half hours into the wear test as you can see the nose is a little glowy it's a little oilier the forehead looks pretty great the cheeks i would say look pretty great around my mouth area maybe we could say maybe it's like a little more matte looking than at the beginning but with that said it doesn't necessarily look super dry eh, maybe like right here it actually does look kind of dry like in this specific area it's weird because it's not here or here just right here it looks a little dry so far though for six hours in this looks pretty incredible is it a magical formula that we haven't seen before and makes you look poreless and blurred where like no other foundation can do that no I feel like I have other foundations in my collection that I like just as much as I like this one. However, with that said, it is a really good foundation. I'm definitely impressed because I don't think I've ever loved, loved a Huda Beauty formula before and I love this one. It kind of reminds me of formulas like these right here that I love, like the Fenty Soft Lip Foundation. I love the way that one looks and I feel like it has a pretty similar effect. The reformulated Dior 
face and body I also really love and it's creamy and it's thin and it just also has this type of effect to it Tin Title Ultra Wear from Lancome also kind of gives me these types of vibes where like it's not a super liquidy foundation it's kind of creamy but like on the lighter side long lasting beautiful natural finish all throughout the day all of these foundations kind of do something similar to this so it's not that unique in that sense however like i said huda had never had a foundation with this type of formula before and i do prefer it to her other formulas i prefer it to her stick foundation and i prefer it to i forgot the name of her older foundation the liquid one that came in the squared bottle that was super matte and dry looking and kind of cake face looking on me because of my dry skin so to me this is 10 times better for sure so those are my thoughts so far and i will see you guys later it's 11 o'clock i am so sleepy <laughs> um i think i left my phone downstairs anyways it's 11 o'clock i waited <laughs> i am dying to wash my face and this is what the makeup is looking like at the end of the day i think it looks pretty much exactly the same as a couple of hours ago when I last did this. My lip balm is gone, but other than that, it's a really nice foundation in my opinion. Again, I feel like online, some of the videos I've seen are trying to make it look like it's this new innovative formula that like nobody's heard of before and i don't think that's the case at all i think that there are plenty of foundations out that are comparable to this one with that said is it a foundation that i like yes eight hours in eight and a half hours in and it looks incredible so i do like it if you have dry skin i feel like you're going to like it because even on my super dry skin it only got a little bit dry right here but it looks really good everywhere else combination normal skin i'm pretty sure you're going to like it as well i'm not sure about oily people because my nose did get shiny looking throughout the day and that is usually not something that happens so if you have oily skin i don't think this one is for you to be honest but overall i do really like and recommend it the blush excellent staying power excellent you guys can still see the blush i didn't apply that much of it but like you can still see that my cheeks look nice and flush and peachy so the blush was amazing loved it and then the other new thing that i tried today the lavender powder from tarte i think i prefer pink undertones in my powders rather than lavender but formula wise because this comes in a lot of different colors formula wise this powder is excellent my under eyes have looked super smooth all throughout the day there is zero creasing going on at all whatsoever it is soft it is blurring super finely milled and i love the packaging as well so this powder is a 10 out of 10. i do think i prefer pink powder to lavender powder but i really did love this one so if you're looking for a new powder definitely consider this one from tarte and I believe that is it. My mascara looks pretty amazing for eight hours in as well, I must say. Um, so if you're interested in anything I talked about in today's video, don't forget to please shop using my links. I definitely appreciate it. And that is it from me today. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye.